In these problems, we're dealing with factorial expressions. And if you haven't seen these before, there's a, a notation that's different. So if I have this 5 and an exclamation mark, that's said 5 factorial. And what it means is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And actually, that last times 1 isn't really meaningful because it keeps um, everything the same. But that's the basic form of a factorial. You take all of the numbers from that number down to 1 and multiply them all together. As you can imagine, factorials get big pretty quickly. One of the cool things about factorials is that any larger factorial has smaller factorials inside of it. So 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's this. So you could say that 5 factorial is actually 5 times 4 factorial. And that is going to be really useful in solving these problems. Let's look at this first one. It, we've got 12 factorial times 7 factorial over 9 factorial times 6 factorial. So what I'd like to do is try to cancel out as much of this as I possibly can. I think what I'm going to do is write 12 factorial as 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial. Because the rest of 12 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, etc. And that's what 9 factorial is. And likewise, so that part's going to cancel out this 9 here, this 9 factorial. Likewise, I can do that with the 7. 7 factorial is the same as 7 times 6 factorial. So now on the bottom, I still got my 9 factorial times 6 factorial. Both of those are going to cancel out. So this problem comes down to 12 times 11 times 10 times 7, whatever that is. I'll pull out my calculator for that. And that looks to be 9,240. All right, let's look at another one. So we want to find the value of the uh, following. We've got 10 factorial times 6 factorial over 8 factorial times 7 factorial. I'm going to take the, this as sort of two problems and look at the 10 factorial over 8 factorial part first. So 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. That's going to cancel with my 8 factorial. And then over here, I've got it um, a little different. I've got 6 factorial up top. The bottom is bigger, so I can rewrite that as 7 times 6 factorial. So this will cancel, and these will cancel. And what I get is 10 times 9 over 7. So this is 90 sevenths. And that's a little bit of work with factorial expressions.